Hello, my name is Arthur, and in the last video we got so that we could um, highlight our our um, format specifiers. And yeah, in the last um, set of videos dealing with uh, syntax highlighting, I've mentioned that we should get things working kind of how the compiler see things. And, and then I made a mistake. Um, my mistake is this. Having my highlighting treating um, quotes like this. Because that's not how the compiler sees quotes. This quote would end at the end of line. So we need to go back. We need to change our idea here for how quotes are searched for. So we're going to erase this whole bit and do it again. No, I'm just kidding. We don't have to do that. Um, what we do have to do is we have to add in a new iter. We're going to need a line iter. So we'll make one called line. When we initialize our page iters, we're going to put line at the start. And then we'll refer to documentation. So we can use forward to line end. That will work. So we'll put line at the end of the first line. So GDK, whoops, GDK text iter forward to line end. And line. And that'll put, uh, give us um, a way to measure. So in here, we're going to go check one. We do the search. Instead of going all the way to stop, we're going to go to line. And here, instead of going all the way to stop, we're going to go to line. Then here, instead of applying a tag all the way to stop, we're going to apply the tag to line. So this is the one where it doesn't find a close quote, so it was set to turn everything yellow. We're going to make it so that it just deals with the end of the line. Because that's the way the compiler works. If we were to write a string, so we were going to, going to go print and just pretend like this is valid syntax. Print a whole bunch of stuff all the way to the end. Oh, I'm running out of space. Enter some more stuff, some more stuff. Um, that's not a valid string. We don't press enter in a string. If we want to go to a next line, we go like this. And... Yeah, I think that might compile. So we could try. And see. I don't actually, I've never done a string that long, so I'm not actually 100% sure. Percent string. Whoops. Small s. Comma. So I'm not actually sure how the compiler will treat that. But I do know that um, there's even less chance it's going to compile with the enter put into it. So let's see what the compiler says to that. So the compiler actually accepts that. And if we press this spacebar it prints that, but um, 
yeah, if we took this out and this out and just have the end of line happening the way that we did it with an enter, I find it highly unlikely that's going to compile. So we get a whole bunch of errors for that because it's just not the way that the compiler sees a string. So what we'll do is we'll make our see a string properly in the way that the compiler does. So we have line and line here instead of else. We'll um, put some brackets. And we'll come down here and put a bracket. So here what we'll do is we'll take line and we'll go, um, we have forward to line end. We have forward line, so we go forward a line. GDK text inner forward line that I'll put it on the start of the next line um, up here GDK this will send it to the end of the line so now it's on the next line at the end of the line. Now we can um, go if GDK text inner get offset. So let's see offset on stop, which is at the end of the document still. Minus, let's come down. Copy that, paste it, line. I'm pretty sure we can go with an equals zero. Then break. And, um, Well, actually, that might not work. So we'll go like this. Because if we have this on this side, it'll probably not work quite right. So we'll go like this. And then we'll go like this. And that should work. That should get us right down to the bottom line. And still run the check. And that's our else block. So I think this should work. And still be able to do the end of the document. So we'll have to check the end of our document to see if that works. Okay forward line oh, typo I'll save that try again okay so that compiles we'll open our document see if we get a segmentation fault so everything seems to be good our quotes are working 
and let's just try down here. So I anticipate that, let's save that, and load, just to be certain. I don't think it should make any difference whether we save it or not. If it can get to the last line, it can get to the last line. So what that does is that relieves the problem that I discovered with putting a quotation mark somewhere like here breaking all of the quotation marks which it shouldn't do so that's it for this video in the next video we'll come back and we'll get back to doing our um, escape sequences and at the same time the first thing we'll do is actually chars with escape sequences and then we'll do the rest of the escape sequences so until then, I hope this was helpful. Take care.